morning. So today is day 25 of incubating these duck eggs, which means after today, there's only three days to go. So tonight, they're going to be locked down. Okay, so a quick recap on these eggs. Uh, I set these in here on the 13th of May. If you remember, I got six Mandarin duck eggs and six Indian runner duck eggs off eBay. Uh, after week one, I had to take out one Mandarin egg and two runner eggs uh, because they uh, weren't fertile or the embryos weren't forming. But up until candling yesterday, these nine eggs in here, so five Mandarin eggs, four Indian runner eggs, they're perfect they're at the stage they should be uh, and they're doing really well so on day 25 you've got three days left you, you do if you remember what you call lock them down which basically you don't open the incubator if you can help it uh, try and bring the humidity up as high as pop possible to aid the hatching uh, so what I've got to do is I've got to I'm struggling to get the I want to try and get the humidity to about 80%, but I'm struggling to get it past 70 at the minute. If it had been like the beginning of last week, the week before, it wouldn't have been a problem because of the weather we had. Trying to keep it down was the problem, but now the temperature's dropped by probably about 10 degrees nearly. I can't seem to get it up. So what I've got to do is got uh, spray warm water on the eggs probably two or three times a day. Keep the water. I've got these holes which are going to feed like tubes in, so I can feed the warm water into the trays, which we've all got. I've got five trays. I can't fit no more in, or there'll be no room for the ducks to hatch. Temperature spot on. So what I've got to do is get all this sorted out, uh, and then I've got to dig out the brooder pen again, which is down the back of the shed. Get that cleaned out properly. Get it all disinfected. Get it all ready. So fingers crossed. I think if I've, I've worked it out right, so they were set on the thirteenth. Uh, day one was the 14th so yeah they should be hatching around about Wednesday so when I finish tonight last thing I'll do when it's dark give them one more candle to check it I'll stick that in the video uh, and then the next video you'll see should be them hatching in three days time I've got the GoPro it's not GoPro it's a cheap poor man's GoPro that's going to go in there on time lapse uh, which I'm not going to stick that in there till probably later on tonight because again i don't want to keep opening it so i'm going to stick that in put a big sd card in it just stick on a time lapse one every five seconds and hopefully get some footage from the inside i'm really holding out for this because you know it's my second attempt at uh, trying to hatch the mandarin duck eggs the first one i like I said, i've done the humidity too low this one i've kept it high it's always been between 58 and 60 maybe 70. So I've just got to try and get it up a bit more now. And then fingers crossed, it'll all go to plan. Right, that's the brooder all done, all cleaned out. I had to disinfect all the corners and get a load of spiders out. Uh, but it's ready to go. I've tested the heat bulb, I've tested the light bulb, uh, and I've bedded it all out. So fingers crossed, with the hatching, it all goes to plan. Love me brooder. It cost me literally nothing. I just had stuff lying around, all the timber, uh, an old piece of glass from an old shed that I had, a bit of chicken wire, so they can go in and out the heat as they please. It successfully had, what we had in there, Rosie? We had three ducks. We've had six, seven, eight, nine, ten quails and a chicken. Do you remember the chicken's name? Was it Albus? <laughs> it was Albus, wasn't it? Yeah. So if you want to see how I made that, like I said, it was cheap as chips and it does the job. They just literally get moved from the incubator into the brooder and they're quite happy in there for 
four weeks before they get moved on. So if you want to see how I made it, I've got a video in the card up here. So check that out if you want. So all we've got to do now is just try and get the humidity up more. It's not rising like I want it to. I have got a uh, fan heater, which I might put on because I've got to try and replicate the weather we had last week and the week before to try and get it up. It's mainly at night, but the temperature drops at night. I don't want to drop too much in the incubator. Uh, it's actually really hot in here, I'm sweating. It really is hot. But it's not humid enough in there. It's, it's gone up a bit because we're down here. Rose is down here watching some Paw Patrol. So I'm going to carry on, try and get that up. And then it'll just candle them tonight, lock the lid, don't touch them. So we'll get on with that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get on with that. Pretty much there now i've only got around i think it's sitting about 77 percent so almost there fingers crossed it will go up a bit more but i genius water bowl bit of ptfe tape i can put it in the holes and i can feed hot water into the trays uh, to keep the humidity up failing that i'm going to put the uh heater fan on tonight should be all right so uh yeah we're, we're pretty much there now brood is ready everything's ready to go so it's literally locking down tonight and then um, we'll have a video on Wednesday with some baby ducks. But I'm gonna go in now, I need to rest my eye. I kind of almost impaled my eye on a um, garden cane the other day. So I've, the eye clinic has gave me some drops and stuff and I need to rest it up. So I'm gonna go in and then later on, I'll come down, candle them, but I'll stick them on the end of this right now. So hopefully see you Wednesday. Thanks for watching, bye. Not really. Oh, you can see something like, I think it's there a reflection look. in the glass, so blow it up. There. Come on, little buddy. Yeah. If that moved, I think that is. Did it? Very dark. It always was though, isn't it? See that? I saw that. Move it up. Yep, okay, cool. That's it. Yeah, you saw it in the camera as well. I was just trying to torch straight my <laughs> eye. Look, you idiot. My bad eye. Even that.